What's going on everyone? It's Tony with Urban Girl Scout Media and I'm coming to you today to do a video game review of one of my all-time favorites. This is a new series that we're doing at Urban Girl Scout Media where we're going to take games that maybe didn't get the love or attention that we would as fans hope it would get. So if you have games like that, throw them in the comment section below because we've got a bunch in mind that we want to do. Games like Crazy Taxi, Simpsons Road Rage have already been suggested to us, and that's going to be one of our future videos. But I said, to hell with what you guys want for the first one. I'm going to be selfish. And I'm going to go back to a game that, it was a big show in my childhood, but a lot of people didn't really know about. It's called Biker Mice from Mars. And that's the game we're going to review today. Is the Biker Mice from Mars Super Nintendo racing game so <clears throat> to give those of you who've never heard of this show before a quick update there is a entire planet of animals and species fighting on a distant planet these three biker mice are from mars they get stranded on earth and really the show from there takes off they form a, an alliance with a human on earth and then they have issues with um a set of villains on earth i don't want to ruin too much of the show it's your classic 90s show let's go ahead and get right into what the game feature has specifically so there isn't really a special introduction or anything when you turn the game on it basically asks you one or two player and then you get right into if you want to do main race <clears throat> or practice we chose main race and real quick let's go and look through the characters that the game has to offer. So we have the three good guys, Throttle, Moto, and we have uh, Vinny. For the bad guys, we would have Limburger, we have Grease Pit, and then that guy coming up on the last is Carbuncle. So you only get six characters with this game, one of the drawbacks. Once you choose your character, you get to go to this screen where you can choose to either go right into your first race, or you can uh, buy upgrades. So, and there's ways to get upgrades, whether you're going through and winning the race, uh, some of the bonuses you can get during the race itself, advancing to further rounds. Those are all ways you can get the money. The gameplay itself is pretty solid. Uh, again, it's only got six characters, so you can get pretty tired of it quickly. There are a lot of levels, and there's five rounds that you have to rank in the top three at the end of six races for each round to move on to the next round. And as you can see here by the photos and the video, uh, just your basic Super Nintendo gameplay. So, pretty fun game, has some interesting features throughout it. You see I'm coming up on the final lap here, not looking too good, sitting in fourth place. So, it's each character has its own bonuses. And you see here, my character has a little speed up. Not sure if I'm going to get this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't call the comeback, but he's in the kitchen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you didn't think I was going to get there, but I did. All right, let me get serious. So, and there's the bonus. You get the money. You get the points. So you guys get the idea. This is kind of how we, we play through the game, advance to the next levels, increase the uh, value of our vehicle with armor and weaponry one of the main drawbacks to the game in my opinion is there are only six characters you do just continue to race the six throughout the entire game this is actually uh the last race in the uh it's, i guess we'll call it story mode but you see there's some pretty cool little features on the track where it tries to push you into spikes um there's those flames shooting up there's all kinds of stuff going on. So the game offers good courses. I'm not going to knock it for that. I do not care for the um, for the character selection. The show itself only had a two-season run, I believe, or a two-year run. So two, maybe three seasons. Um, and there there is some sort of reboot that was overseas uh, in the mid-2000s. But otherwise, the show itself only had two years. So... It made the best it could, in my opinion, of the character selection. But only having six, that kind of just, for me, that makes the game a little shitty. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. 
any other way than say just it takes the game down a peg for me. I will admit that working through the game with um, any one of these characters and trying to upgrade your vehicle or upgrade your bike, I shouldn't say vehicle, is it's tough. I mean, it's not the easiest thing in the world. So um, when you you know you pick each guy and each each different character has strengths and weaknesses, and we saw that when we uh, were looking at the character select originally. And this slow ass grease pit, you know, he reminds me of like Donkey Kong or Bowser from the Super Nintendo uh, 64 and Super Nintendo versions of Mario Kart, where they just, they had slow get up, but man, once they got going, they were tough to stop. So he, I mean, he had some strengths, he had some weaknesses. I'll be honest, the screeching, the constant screeching in this game, just a little annoying. Um, so I'm glad that it doesn't come in that well, uh, as I'm talking over it here, but overall, you know, if you have an opportunity to play the game and you enjoy old Super Nintendo racing games, I'd give it a go. This is an expensive game right now. I have not seen it anywhere for under $35. So if you find it for under $35 and it's in decent condition, uh, you know, that might just be a good investment on its own, but the game, like I said, game itself fun game uh if you have a chance to watch the show it's pretty fun um you know you have mice riding motorcycles and it's you know it's the 90s people were just hopped up on cartoons in the 90s it was like the 90s for cartoons was like the 70s for cocaine and the 80s for rock and roll it was just this insane time where anything you could come up with was they would put it into production I mean, think about, what was the one show, Street Sharks? I, kn I know there's some people out there thinking about Street Sharks. So, just anything they could put into production. They saw Ninja Turtles was a hit. They saw X-Men was a hit. They just, they loved it. So, but I, div I divert from my point. Let me get back on track here. So, the game goes through, you do your races. You get to, you know, go through this winner circle at the end. And that's about it, guys. Uh, if you get a chance to play the game, I got it modded on my Super Nintendo Classic, uh, thanks to the Greek Freak, name drop, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. I hope you enjoy the channel. This is something new we're trying to do. I'm trying to give you something a little different than just the same old magic stuff. Um, so the goal is to do one or two of these a month. I'm going to try and play through it as much as possible. And really, if there's a game you want to see, let us know. I can tell you right now that we're going to do something different than driving for our next one, but coming up here soon, I do have a lot of the Crazy Taxi and Simpsons Road Rage done, so you guys should enjoy that. Otherwise, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you next time.